Hello everyone, it's Meredith. I am here with our daily reading for Wednesday, the 26th of September, 2018. We are using Sawyer's Path Tarot. Of course we are. <laughs> you all know it's my, my new favorite right now. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck and what's running through the theme of our day today. Four of Wands, beautiful. The honeymoon card. <laughs> One of the happiest in the minor suits of tarot. There's joy, there's celebration, there's um, there's new love, there's rekindled love. That's beautiful. It's a good card for love. My guides are saying this is... Hmm. There's a real sweet bliss on this card. So we're feeling it today. This card is inviting us to express our love today. Share it. Share it in share it wherever you can. Hug your kids. Hug your mom and dad. Hug yourself. <laughs> Hug someone. All right, let's see what's in the day for us. Well, look at this 10 of cups. Beautiful. Mmm, that's so sweet. See? Sweet bliss. My guides are right. There is sweet bliss. Ten is a cycle of completion, fulfillment here. Um, and this card is one of those happily ever after cards. So we've got some happily ever after moments uh, in our day today. Please leave some comments. Share what they are. We would all love to see that on the channel. Um, share your good news here. But this is living the benefits of love. There's joy, prosperity, fulfillment. Hmm. All things are good and right under the sun today. <laughs> you know, if you look closely on this card, let me put down the coffee for a second, you can see people, like, it looks like a dad tossing his little kid up in the air. You know, there's just real freedom and happiness joy and happiness on that card and it's it could be these people right here you know it all goes together that's flowing nicely this um four is also well it's stability um a good solid foundation for us in all of our relationships um but it's also walking through that threshold you know it's saying yes to what we've been dreaming for and what's been manifesting for us in the now. We've said yes, we've stepped through this little arbor, we've walked into this um, this scene and at one time that might have just felt like a long way off but here we are now with all of this beautiful harmony. Mm. I feel great peace here too. And then the moon. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Hmm. We are in an Aries full moon cycle right now. That's great. I feel that information is coming to light for us. The moonlight has shown us something that was once in its shadow, but is not in shadow any longer. Because we've come to this beautiful place of peace within ourselves, we are able to see this, you know, We've had a couple of days with the High Priestess showing up, um, letting us know that our intuitive gifts would be informing us with uh, knowledge that we did not have previously. My feeling is here that we do now, because of the High Priestess over the past couple of days, something has come to us, a knowing has come to us, and we have... Hmm, we have been in our heart space with it. And it is connected to these two cards and how we are living this kind of joy now. Let's see what comes with this. Yeah. We've made this real on that Ace of Pentacles, Divine and Cosmic Gift. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you notice we have another gateway here on this card. We've stepped through that. We have said yes. We've had messages for quite a while about us mastering our yes. And we've watched ourselves, witnessed ourselves go into resistance with the divine and cosmic gifts on offer to us. And we've witnessed ourselves 
come to acceptance and allowance of it. And it feels as though in the acceptance and the allowing, we had to cross these thresholds. And there was some, let's say, prior experience of stepping through these thresholds um, in other relationships, in other circumstances and scenarios, and they, they didn't end well. They didn't, they weren't what we would say favorable. However, in hindsight, as we look back on the journey, as we turn around and we look through these gateways we've crossed and we see where we came from, you know, out of this shadow, out of an old illusion, and it's brought us to this beautiful, loving, peaceful harmony in our lives, we're grateful for that journey. So this this Ace of Pentacles being a divine and cosmic gift, it's... Um, it's having the gift of your awareness, uh, honoring the journey thus far, and celebrating um, all the choices that brought you here to this 10 and this 4. That's, that's good stuff. Let's see what's next. Another ace, an ace of wands. Wow, and right underneath that 10. So this is more divine and cosmic gift, adding fire and fuel for this continued experience. Yeah, my guides are saying you can't go back. <laughs> you can't go backward. And the ace is saying, why would you want to? <laughs> because this is so good. This is so juicy good. Um, you know, it's full of all the gifts of this ace of wands. There's there's passionate romance on this card. Um, there's creativity. There's fertility. Um, there is inspiration. Um, this is a great card for the entrepreneur, getting a you know a nice boost of energy from the universe to flow into their creative spirits. Uh, this feels like since I'm talking about entrepreneurs in the work realm it feels like inspired ideas being made real um yes being made real something of the high priestess for the last two days comes to me on this as well this is part of that inspired process of you know you wake up from a dream and you suddenly have a new idea for your business and you're completely inspired by it and it's being fueled and supported by the universe that's what I feel here and it creates the ten of cups scenario for you um, so it comes out of the ether here on the moon and the high priestess from the past two days and it ignites our spirit of creativity and we're going for it that message has come up we're going for it I've heard myself say that several times um, in recent readings so we're very inspired at this time and I mean look at these beautiful cards how could we not be inspired because look <laughs> you know from watching these videos I do not have many reversals in my readings so we've got the tower in reverse this is where we came from this is behind us now. What I was saying over here, you walk through this gateway and this gateway, these thresholds. And as we look back, we recognize how those unfavorable um, situations, circumstances, and relationships have brought us here to the ten and the four and these aces. Um, as we turn around and we look through this gate, through this gate, we see this turned over tower because that's where we were. So at one point, we were still there while it was upright, crumbling, destruction, rubble everywhere. Now it's in reverse. We've moved so far beyond it that that rubble is way in our past. We're grateful for it because it revealed to us things we could not see that required our loving, nurturing, nurturing attention. And we gave ourselves that loving, nurturing attention so that we could... Mm, move on from it to what you see here and let's see what's next oh fantastic three of pentacles the architect card talk about a strong foundation building a strong foundation um, this is a level of self mastery in the journey and if you think of it this way here was your old rickety tower 
on a very unstable, uncertain foundation. Um, and of course, once lightning struck, it burned to the ground and crumbled. But here we are rebuilding. Not just rebuilding, we've rebuilt. And we've gained some experience, wisdom, knowledge, and we have applied it and we have created these scenarios that you see on the 10 and the 4. We have created these happily ever after moments and they have been blessed and um, they've been blessed by the all that is from the unified field of co-creation. <laughs> We've been given an infusion of energies to help this along. That's, that's wonderful. I'm excited for us. Very excited for us. Okay. Let's do our Healing with the Angels Oracle cards. This is your opportunity to ask a question while I shuffle. Leave some comments, folks. Share some of this journey, how you got here, how you got to the 10, the 4. Share some of your tower moments. And what came to you out of the intuitive ether that inspired you? Um, it's not just me reading the comments on the channel. Other people are taking a look at them too. And I really feel that we inspire one another when we share um, what got us here. Okay, first card. Soulmate. Well, I'm putting that with the ten. It speaks for itself. We have journeyed a long way to create the relationships we now find ourselves uh, blessed by and yeah the people in our lives at this time are very inspiring to us and we to them next card spiritual growth I'm going to put that right here with the moon and the ace yes this this reading just keeps coming back to the journey our journey this is let's take a moment or two today and have some real gratitude for the road we've walked and where it has brought us. And then the last card is <laughs> miracles. You know, actually, I'm going to put it with the four. Because it does feel like a miracle to have achieved this. In however, whatever way you have achieved it, whether it's in beloved relationship, whether it's within your career, whether it is... Uh, your relationship to your own self and how you inspire others. We're all creating miracles and we're being gifted with miracles too on these aces. Beautiful. All right, last card is our affirmation of the day. We're going to use the Power of Love cards. And we have Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication consciously demonstrate love yeah you do and you did you have and that is what that is what has created this the ten the four the aces the three beautiful have a wonderful Wednesday Ooh, wonderful Wednesday I think I'm going to call it that from now on <laughs> okay check the week ahead reading it will be linked for you at the end of this video and Check the Instagram or Facebook page for the other reading that I post daily. Uh, those will be linked as well on the YouTube channel. And like the video, share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, love, blessings, and joy to each and every one of you. And leave some comments. Tell us about your journey. Bye for now, everyone.